Welcome Geminis and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message, <coughs> excuse me, for week commencing Monday the 20th of December through to Sunday the 26th of December 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. So Gemini's, for those of you that I am picking up this week, um, you're being guided to get almost like your proverbial house in order. Um, there may be people around you that, um, that for some reason, if you're feeling a little bit ungrounded, uh, there could be energies around you that you need to declutter, get rid of, tidy up, organize, uh, to get some clarity of who that is, what that is, that's getting you, uh, making you feel a little bit ungrounded or a little bit kind of not quite right um connect with mother earth okay uh surround yourself um with almost kind of like the the beauty around us all yeah uh, i know that in this very contrite world that we're in at the moment it's very hard to see the beauty that's around us but it's there okay um connect with that beauty all right um because success is coming your way and i feel that you will get the clarity of what it is you need to clear up tidy up in your life um to clear out that energy yeah, uh, many of you are also being guided to speak your truth with regards to whoever it is, friends, family, colleagues that you need to, um, uh, I don't know, bring some peace or, or speak your truth in order for you to feel grounded, in order for your spirit to settle. Whoever you're connecting with, if there's something that has been unspoken, this is the time to speak about it. Um, if you're not sure when to do that, connect with Mother Earth um, and uh, she will give you that clarity. It almost feels as if you need to connect with things that are beautiful, things that are... Um, uh, that has life, the life all around us, uh, respect that, give reverence to it. And that's almost like what will be returned back to you. Whoever you're connecting with, they certainly do want to uh, clear something up with you. I feel as if they are really over analyzing conversations, a little bit heartbroken, trying to heal from some sort of, I don't know, discourse that's happened between the two of you, um, but they're delayed. They're, they're, there is a delay in this communication, delay in communication, conversations, um, and it's frustrating them. Um, but it feels as if when you speak your truth, it feels as if it will turn it around, that it's like things will turn in their favour, and that is what's going to bring you a lot of success. Now, we've got uh, your first crowning message card, uh, Lost Compass, Getting Back to Integrity. This is exactly what your channeled message was talking about. Um, it's almost as if um, there's something that's ungrounding you or something that's got you feeling a little bit off kilter. Um, it's like you're in limbo and you're, it's like you've lost your way. It's like, what, like, what is it? What is it that's making me feel really just uncomfortable or a little bit ungrounded? Getting back to integrity is basically getting back to the divinity within you, connecting with divine spirit universe. Your channeled message was guiding you to do that through Mother Earth. OK, that is what's going to get you back on your true north. That is what's going to help you to see um, that there are energies around you that are not serving your higher purpose. So it may be that you're picking up other people's energies and not actually your own. That's what's getting you feeling, making you feel ungrounded. If you end up, um, uh, I mean, I know that we're coming up to Christmas and the new year and, um, you know, the seasons, holidays and everything like that. Um, there may be people that you need to maybe cut out of your life, you know, friends or um, pull back from um, being too open with with colleagues at work about your personal life. There may be some things that you need to shut down and um, pull back, cut out of your life um, that I feel that your spirit team will guide you as to who those energies are. And that will um, uh, bring you back um, to your true north, okay? The way that you, that you, you the, the purpose, the path that you are supposed to be uh, facing. But the only way that you can do that is get in touch with yourself, reconnect with yourself. 
For many of you, uh, whoever you are connecting with, um, there may be something that uh, is unbalanced, okay? Something that's not quite, quite right. It's like you both have lost your bearings. Uh, yeah, you're definitely connecting. You're definitely connecting with somebody that's very, very close to your heart. Um, radical acceptance, beloved. Oh God, let me just finish what I was saying. Um, if you if you are connecting uh, with somebody, okay, in a relationship that things feel a little bit off balance or things feel a little bit off kilter, they are because this person is also feeling it as well. And I feel that you're being guided to connect with yourself, Gemini, in order for you to see what it is you need to say or what you may even need to cut this person out. Or you need to cut out some sort of discourse or um, some kind of upset. You need to like close the door on it and, and speak your truth so that the two of you can heal and move forward. Beloved is all about radical acceptance. This is about um, uh, radically accepting that something needs to possibly close out radically accepting that um right now uh the beloved is divine spirit universe who is in your heart it's like the divinity within you is trying to reignite that passion that fire maybe reignite the passion and fire between you and your person but there's something that's off kilter there's something that is not being spoken that you're being guided to radically accept it does need to be spoken it does need to be cleared out uh it needs to be decluttered and it needs to be discard discarded basically all right whoever you are connecting with i'm also picking up um that you may be each other's um kind of loved like there's there's a lot of love there's a lot of passion in your heart for each other um maybe uh whatever was uh ignited the passion and um the love for each other maybe that has been dimmed for some reason and uh, the only way that it can be restored is by speaking some sort of truth because this person is definitely um uh overthinking about something they're heartbroken about something um and they're trying to heal from it but they're frustrated that they can't speak about it it almost feels as if you need to be the person to speak about it. Yeah, look, mindful, group think. This is uh this is <laughs> This is a this is a lot of energies around you. Your it's like your mind is um your mind is cluttered. That's why this proverbial kind of clean up house was coming through in your channeled message it almost feels as if if your mind spiritually is really cluttered with a lot of thoughts okay i feel like you're being guided that it's time to use the key to unlock your mind and declutter uh it's group think uh there's a lot of people around you that i almost feel as if um their thoughts, their energies is basically cluttering up your thinking. And that's where group think comes in. It's like there's a group of thoughts, of energies that are almost clouding your own mindset. And that's what you need to declutter. Okay. Um, so that's definitely resonating with people that are around you. Uh, friends, colleagues, maybe even family members, but also maybe the person that you are connecting with, because we picked up in your channel's message that this person is trying to heal. They're trying to declutter their mind. They're heartbroken over something. Um, it almost feels as if kind of like that eight of swords, like they're in this mental torture. So if you're picking up their energy, uh, you may need to differentiate what is yours and what is theirs and like spiritually, like shut it down. But you've only got the, you're the one that's got the key to do that. Lost in space. Again, look at this. Lost compass and lost in space. Need in direction. There is some sort of transformation. There's some sort of success around transformation. Notice how this angel is holding the earth. Again, it's like you're being illuminated with the sun through your crown chakra. That divinity within you to focus on, um, 
Mother Earth, basically. Mother Earth is the one that is going to uh, ground you, okay? Get you back on your true north if your compass is lost, okay? Um, and also give you that direction, illuminate the direction, give you the clarity of whatever it is you need to speak to create transformation, to create whatever it is um, that's got you feeling really ungrounded. Yeah, you're definitely in need of some sort of direction. But also, again, it's possibly your person that you're connecting with as well, that you may be picking up their energy. All right. If there are people around you that um, if there's a bit of discourse going on between you and your person and you are sharing that you're talking to people, you're seeking advice, you're seeking guidance. Uh, it almost feels as if you're getting too much information, too many opinions and you need to cut that out. You need to declutter that. Um, if you're feeling like you need answers, uh, you're being guided to connect with yourself because right now you're in need of direction. You're in need of facing your true north. And right now, Gemini's, you're a little bit off balance. OK, uh, you're, you're not thinking clearly because there's too much energy around you. There's a bit too much yap, 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 yap going around uh, that it's decluttering your own thoughts. It's like you can't think clearly for yourself as to what you need to do, what it is action that you need to take to transform, to get you and this person back on the right path. OK, let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom message is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me our crowning wisdom message to the question how does these soulmates of gemini sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 20th of december through to sunday the 26th of december 2021 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards gemini that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. Thank you. Our blade. How interesting that the blade has come out because the blade represents truth. It represents... Um, the blade is almost like... Um, uh, a, a feather of truth it's it's like speaking your truth it's almost as if you need to cut out what doesn't serve you cut out whatever does not serve you and this is exactly what your crowning messages are saying so with the blades coming out it's almost with and particularly with the sun in the background uh gemini's this is letting us know that there is victory there is um success uh coming in but you need to almost invoke your uh right to speak your truth okay um the blade itself represents um uh, almost kind of like the sharpness of uh, mind, body, spirit, soul, okay? Um, it's like with it pointing upwards, you're being guided to focus on the divinity within you. Focus on uh, the power, um, the high, your higher self, divine, spirit, universe, your higher self. Um, uh, what you are be, being invited um, to do is to... Um, don't offer yourself uh, any, don't offer yourself um, to any toxic environment. It's like you need to cut it out, all right? Use it, use um, the blade. Uh, don't waste your time with idle talk, okay? It's almost as if you're being guided to claim back your power of your truth. So you remember I was saying in your channel's message, many of you need to speak your truth. And if you speak your truth, particularly if there are people with mindful, that group think, that are almost cluttering your mind, um, many of you may not realise that it's actually quite toxic. And so you're being guided to focus upwards, focus on heaven, focus on the divinity, focus on um, Mother Earth. Uh, let her show you the right direction to speak your truth. And as you declutter your mind from other people's opinions, um, other people's advice, 
You may to need to speak your truth and you may need to cut that out. And that may result in, in, in certain people, friends, walking away from you. It's okay. It's okay. Because they're not serving your highest good. They're certainly not serving the higher good of this connection either. Interesting. Interesting that the blade has come out because it definitely resonated uh, with your channeled message about you speaking your truth. But you've got to know your truth in order to speak it, right? Okay. So, uh, Geminis, if this... Um, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to uh, click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Geminis. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to uh, support um, the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Um, existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. Appreciated. And I really hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love week commencing Monday the 20th of December through to Sunday the 26th of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini that I'm allowed to see for their highest good? And for the greater good of all. As above, so below, and all around me, thank you. Gemini, is any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this week, uh, weekly reading? If they um, jump out on camera, I will call them out for you. All right, my angels and spirit guides. Oh, the oh thank you and thank you. Wow. Oh, wow. Did I not say that this person is heartbroken over something? The Three of Swords, your person is heartbroken. They are heartbroken. And they're keeping it a secret from you. And I feel as if they want to speak some sort. They want to speak their truth. And look at that with the two of coins, the two of you are unbalanced. That's why you're feeling with this lost compass and this lost in space. Uh, both of you are in limbo at the moment. This person is heartbroken. They're keeping it secret that they want to speak their truth. They're keeping it secret that they are heartbroken. They're feeling very, very um, anxious, unbalanced in the connection. Uh, and look, with the eight of wands, you do want to speak. You want to you want to have a communicate. You want to communicate. This is back and forth communication. I feel for many of you, if you had cut this person out, okay, or you're thinking about cutting this person out, I don't know whether it came out reversed or whatever, um, it feels as if um, you're blocking you're not, you're blocking yourself from speaking your truth around uh, communication. Or if you guys um, have walked away from this person or you may say or you may have said something that was quite cutting to this person and uh, that broke their heart, you may not realise it. That's why you need to have this conversation, but you need to speak your truth. And so therefore, you may, if you walked away from this person, maybe for some of you, you had no choice but to walk away from this person. It almost feels as if you're going to do a 360 and be open to communicate with them. Yeah. Speak your truth. And notice the chakra colours of these wands here. You're bringing about balance. Where at the moment, the two of you are feeling very, very unbalanced in this connection. Let's get some clarifiers here. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Yeah, you've got to speak your truth, Geminis. That blade and that sword, the queen of swords. It's time to speak your truth. That's the only way that you're going to balance out this connection and get you guys back on track. Thank you. So... Uh, whoever you're connecting with, oh my God, look at that. The three, this person is proper heartbroken. They are really heartbroken. I feel as if um, they've really made a mountain out of a molehill over whatever it is you said to them. 
And that is what has got you feeling really kind. If you don't know what's got you feeling really ungrounded or really like nervous or anxious or like something isn't right, this person is proper, proper, proper heartbroken. And it feels like something that you said, look at the small cat there. It could have been something really, really small that you said to this person. They look at it there. What's reflecting back at them is a big cat. It was big. It was, they've made a real mountain out of a molehill, but it also feels as if they are going through some sort of transformation, some sort of change as they um, rest their monkey mind, um, try and un unpack uh, what it is you said, what was the driver behind it, why did you say it, um, transforming out of fear, ready to bring out in what they have kept secret from you, bring it out into the open so that transformation can happen. The moon card here, you also could be um, connected to a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you... And this person, I feel as if they are really like, when they're sleeping, they're really, really heartbroken. That's when it really hits them. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you uh, clarify how does the soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love week commencing Monday the 20th of December through to Sunday the 26th of December 2021. Thank you. Six of pentacles. So I feel as if this person feels as if what broke their heart is they are they they felt that you were giving to someone else that you weren't giving to this connection in the same way that they did and it feels as if that really 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 broke, broke their heart three swords six of swords um so it almost feels as if um Whatever this heartbreak is, the Six of Swords is that they want to uh, move out of feeling this heartbreak. They want to move into a uh, more peaceful, um, harmonious energy with you. But it feels as if what they're keeping secret is that they, um, they felt that you didn't give to this connection in the same way that they did. And it created a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication with the Seven of Cups. And that is the truth that they want to speak, that they felt that you didn't give to this connection and they didn't understand why. And if you if, if they felt that you were giving to somebody else when you walked away, they're really confused as to what, like, why, why, why would you do that? The devil card, yeah, they want transformation. This person's going through a transformation and I feel that when they do speak their truth, if you initiate it, it's almost like you've got to speak your truth for them to uh, speak theirs. It's like you will, they'll be illuminated um, coming out of fear. And that it's like by you speaking your truth, they will speak theirs. Because they want transformation. They're going through a transformation. They don't want this unbalanced feeling that they've got with you. You also could be dealing with the Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. With the Emperor coming up here, I feel that this is your energy, um, Gemini's. It feels as if you're trying to control whatever it is you're, that you're, that's got you feeling really ungrounded. You're trying to look and see what 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 is it that's making you feel ungrounded. Many of you uh, may have turned your back on this person, but uh, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, it almost feels as if you're doing a 360 to have this um, back and forth communication with them. You also, with the Emperor, could be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. Yeah, look at that, the Tower. So it almost feels as if there was some sort of massive a debacle that happens between the two of you that needs to be spoken about yeah it's like you have the power within you to rebuild and i feel that um they either you 
you've got to take the action to rebuild this tower by initiating communication. That is you speaking your truth. And the five of swords, yeah, for many of you, uh, it feels as if there it's been a real battle with communication with this person. And notice there are three people here. Somebody came out heartbroken. It was them. It was them. So if um, this battle of communication uh, resulted in a, a tower moment and perhaps you going off with somebody else, it really broke their heart. And I feel as if they want that, you want that over, okay? Uh, you definitely want that over. It could also, uh, you want that over and done with. You want to put that battle behind you. And the only way that you can do it by taking control and uh, communicating to rebuild, to get you both back on track with each other. Uh, with these people here as well, it could also represent that there are people around you that are uh, stirring the pot OK, with their communication to you that is creating this battle within your mind. It's like it's clogging you and you're the one that's upset because you're kind of like, I'm not I can't make head nor tail of, you know, what my friends are saying, what people are saying to me. I can't, you know, it's like this. They're, they're stirring the pot. They're not adding any value. And that's why you may need to speak your truth and cut them out so that you can think clearly of what it is you need to speak to your person about. And the four of wands. Wow. So you see this person as long term commitment marriage material. That's why uh, you're entertaining um do the 360 and, and open to talk to this person and the high priestess. I feel that many of you within your, your, your intuition, your intuition is guiding you that this is the person that, um, like your, your, your soul is very connected to them. It's almost, yeah, it's like this beloved, it's this radical acceptance that this is the person that you want to marry. This is the person that you want to build a future with. Um, and intuitively, you kind of know that, but also intuitively, you know that there needs to be some sort of truth. And notice this crow here as well. Yeah, it's like you've got to speak your truth. You need to almost cut out any kind of interference from other people, Gemini's, so that you can think clearly. Because this person, they're keeping secret how how heartbroken they are but with the three and the three swords that six swords they do want to move out of that energy they do want to speak their truth they want to understand why you didn't choose them they want to understand why you didn't give to this connection um because they were they were left really confused really confused as to why you didn't want to give to them all right let's uh see what your uh advice is my angels and spirit, thank you. The first message is, imagine. So it says, clearly visualize the life you want. Feel it in your heart and soul. And so it will come to be. So remember I said to you uh, in your channeled message, um, as you connect with Mother Earth and declutter, you will see clearly uh, the future that you want with this person, which is the Four of Wands building a future, marrying this person, long-term commitment. If you doubted that, I feel that you're being guided to radically accept it, imagine it, visualise it, cut everything else out that's not serving you and get back on the path of imagining this beautiful future with this person because that is what will then come forward to you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine... Please, can you tell me our advice? There we go. And the next one is anxiety. Yeah. So surround. we surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. Now, it's interesting that fear came out here because this person is also going through transformation of coming out of fear to initiate um, conversations, to be open to conversations. So if you're feeling a little bit unbalanced, anxious, fearful, you may be 
genuinely picking up their energy as well. You need to differentiate between that and know what is your energy and know what is theirs. But if you are feeling a bit anxious about having a conversation with this person, I feel that you're being guided to know that your spirit team are around you. You just need to call out to them, ask them, ask them to be around you. And many of you, that may be through just connecting with Mother Earth. And what I mean by that is, you know, however you do it, through meditation, through prayer, through, um, I don't know, looking up at the sky, looking up at the night stars, um, going for those long walks, um, uh, having an appreciation, stopping and smelling the roses, um, having reverence for the beauty that's around you, that's living, that's breathing, um, and, and, and remove all the distraction of the contriteness of the world that is around us, uh, interference from other people, see the purity of Mother Earth and the beauty that's there. That's what will come to you. Oh, look, miracle. Did I not say there's going to be success if you can just speak your truth, get rid of all other people giving you opinions, getting their pennies worth, get rid of all of that, yeah? Miracle. Our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. And I feel that many of you are being blessed with the miracle of reunion, a miracle of getting back on your true north, um, getting back on the right direction, the right path, uh, transforming this situation. Um, but it does require some truth, some conversations that need to be had. And I, cause I feel that your person, whoever you're connecting with, uh, they're coming out of this um, heartbreak energy, ready to speak their truth um, about how they feel, how things went down between the two of you. All right. OK, Gemini's, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.